All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Undisputed video. And today I'm going to give Sean Porter a try. I don't know if I've actually played as Porter. I've played against him. There's a fucking shitload of boxes I've... I've not actually used yet. But well, let's give Porter a go today. See what he's like. Where are you, mate? Well, there's... There's his, um... There's his stats, if you're interested. If you're curious about things like that. You can pause that and have a look. There's all his traits. Info. And we'll go against who's either same stats or, or same rating or higher. Ricky at an 84. Martinez 86. We've got Josh Taylor at 85. Amir Khan 85. Me little me, me boy George Davy sitting at 67 there. I like using George. Got that really good straight and jab. Like really long jab and straight. Let's go against um Connor Ben. I don't even think I've used him yet either. I'll have to give him a go. Here's his stats if you if you're curious about that. Pause that at your leisure and have a butchers. And uh, let's go. Is I'm not going WB East, sorry WBC because that cameraman in the corner gets on my fucking tits. Magna maybe. I've been here for a while. Let's have a go here. Undisputed difficulty. One on one point five on the damage. Let's see what port is like. Careful when using slip, you can cause yourself to gas out. That's kind of why I don't use it all that much. Well, I tend to use the weave instead, but My name is Todd I feel like it doesn't evade the punches as effectively as the slip. Todd, it's gonna be an amazing night as per You're going to get sick of me saying Everybody's it to the back teeth, but that whole weave mechanic needs changing, if it's you ask me. Showtime Porter. He's 5 foot 7 inches tall with a 69.7 inch reach. And it's showtime. Sean Porter, the two-time welterweight champion of the world, born in Ohio, but fighting out of Las Vegas, USA. Connor, the destroyer Ben, one of those must-see type of fighters coming out of the UK. The famous son of a legend who's beating his own path. This is going to be an intense stare-off before the fight starts. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Northeast Ohio, here is a welterweight champion of the world, Showtime, Sean Porter. Hiding out of the blue corner, introducing from Essex, England, a continental welterweight champion, Connor the Destroyer Ben. No doubt about it, this was the hottest ticket in town by a country mile. Every seat has been sold. Listen, when you've got two people that want to fight, two fighters that really dislike each other, you're going to get more than a fight. I haven't been on this arena for a while. I forgot it had like a, a red canvas. It's been a while since I've been on it. Maybe since it first released this arena. See what Port is like. I tend to like the lighter weight classes better than using the heavy weights. And already, oh, I like how quick Porter is. I like it when the boxer throws snappy, quick punches. It's kind of why I don't like to play as heavy weights too much. I'd rather have fast punches than power punches. I can't. I like throwing fast combinations and. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters. I don't. I can, I can never. I don't like how slow they come out with the heavyweights, obviously. But I know you've got to, you've got to have balance and stuff. But oh, big combination there from from Ben. Good counter left hand there. Do you believe this? 
Fucking Todd's losing his mind already. The fight's just fucking started. They throwing punches. They should be playing defense right now. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Nice oh, counter hard. Shot. The counter left off landed there. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. We have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Punch, counter punch. Perfect oh, what happened to the supporter's arm there? Did you see that? Fucking snapped his fucking arm. Do you believe what we are seeing? And I did hit Ben there. Saw the little exclamation mark pop up. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice head movement there, slipping that uppercut. Oh, and a dirty one after the bell, you dirty cunt. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think. We're on to the second round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Well, I pull countered him, but didn't actually land the counter. Oh, that was a nice counter left up there on the inside from Ben. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little trick you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. A counter puncher, then basically you do the counter attack. You let them get their punch off first, and then you answer in. Oh, time. rolling up against the ropes there. Got a couple of good shots in, both of us. Oh, he nice up over the top, just jab. got the block up. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Oh, hard right straight to the body landed there. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. That punch lands. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. Ooh. He misses with that jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Oh, gave him one back after the bell. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight. And there's the bell to start round three. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. There's a counter shot. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Don't get trigger happy. Looks like my character just froze for a minute there. Looks like Porter just froze, like his animation just stopped. Oh. That counter shot lands. Oh, right up over the top, Landry took some shots there. So much firepower here. Oh, hit him. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense. And that big shot just rattled his cage. Ben has no idea where he Ooh, is right now. Oh, power left up, just missed. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Why aren't they keeping their gloves up? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. You 
seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's oh, have big shots endurance? over the top there from Ben Landers. Two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through willpower, calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. See, pull counters him again there and fired the uppercut and it just stopped just before his face. I think I said that during the Ali video as well. Just that pisses me off how that, that's a thing in this game. You get you you manage to make the, the opponent miss and you go to fire your counter and the punch just stops. There's the bell to start round four. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Oh, what a punch! Nice counter shot. Amazing boxing analysis there from Todd. Oh, what a punch! Oh, nice left uppercut. Hurt him. Got him with the one-two after it. Got rocked big time. He's seeing stars, but can he stay on his feet? And that's exactly where he doesn't. Oh, need to just be. Etta all of his block there. Oh, two big on. massive shots. Oh, and a nice right uppercut left up off the block there. Oh, beautiful. That was nice. Let's have another look at that. I mean, he snuck that right hook in through the guard there, but managed to fire off those two quick punches. Oh, beautiful. Just jacked his jaw up with the right uppercut and then left hook followed it. the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down can I be still here no it's not oh massive counter left up there the best start, Bob. I know I mentioned this in, oh, oh a nice three punch Man, combination there serious trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him rattled like this before I know I mentioned this in one of my UFC videos lately but and Ben just got rocked did, did people got rocked how many of you applied for the uh, stars, <laughs> For the developer job, uh, sorry, the the tester job, undisputed, put out lately. Did you see that on the on the YouTube channel? Oh, and a big left up drops Ben. Yeah, they they put like an advert out for a tester position to test this game and give feedback. Even though so many of us have already bought the fucking early access and are giving them free feedback on what needs improving. But um. Obviously, you're probably going to have to. You've got to be in the UK. You're probably going to have to relocate to Sheffield, where the Steel City headquarters is. But I mean, I've, I've got. I can't. I've lost count of how many videos I've got in a playlist for this game. And if they ever want to see any feedback on it, they can just check me fucking videos. I'm giving it, giving it to them for nothing. Just curious if any of you who watch watch these videos actually applied for the for the position. It's nice of them to offer someone a job, like you know what I mean. It's uh, I don't see many developers doing that on the at least on their fucking YouTube channels anyway. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feeling like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All the fucking order they doing it for free? Steel City game, giving you fucking free feedback, but I've said before, I don't think they'll pay attention to channels like mine because I've often critiqued the game, but I mean, isn't that the whole point of testing to sort of play it and find out the negatives and then report it back to them to turn it into like a positive? I'm not just like shitting on the game because it's fucking trendy to do so. I've said that a bunch of times, I want this game to do well. We've been starved for a good boxing game since Fight Night, and although Fight Night Champion still holds up, at least for me it does. Although it still holds up, and some of the earlier titles hold up equally as well. The earlier Fight Night titles are fucking great. Nice but we've been starved of sort of, of a modern still, boxing still, game. Tap tap. Like a match made in I loved it as well, you know, like when 
Like, I know UFC 5 is pretty much just UFC 4, and there's been minimum improvements. We got sold wolf tickets by Marshall Mind. Um, but the people who sort of like... Oh, I've got to watch my stamina, mate. The people who were like, oh, it's fucking... Fuck UFC 5, can't wait for fight night. It's like, you're really excited for, the, for another boxing game after you've just seen what EA have done with the UFC series? You're excited for a boxing game from them? I wouldn't be excited. I'd be fucking terrified. <laughs> I'd be absolutely terrified at the thought of them making a boxing game in in, in today's climate. Be fucking riddled with fucking microtransactions and fucking you know uh, political fucking agendas and I don't know. I'm I, I, I'm not confident we're gonna get the fight night games of old. You know what I mean? We're not in that time anymore, you know? I mean, it might not be the exact same development team that is working on the Fight Night game that 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 worked on the UFC games. It might be a completely different dev team. I don't know, but... I don't know. I mean, I mean with the state of the UFC games at the moment, I'm, it doesn't give me high hopes for a fucking Fight Night series, I'll tell you that. Fucking hell. It fucking makes me worried. On to the sixth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. Just depends oh, on how big right hook over the top there from Ben. A bit of loose movement with Sean. Get a bit of a different look going. Their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. Missed him with that uppercut. We'll turn it off. He feels slower in, in loose in loose movements. His punches feel slower. Good left counter that lands. Oh, left hook over the top stunned him. Well, hit him. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Oh, that hits him as well. They exchange punches. Nice counter left up there. He misses with that jab. Oh, right nice footwork from Ben. He stepped off when I fired that uppercut. Just cut that angle and encountered. You know oh, nice combination there. Cage. Ben right now. Will he go down? Oh, I heard that never by saw it. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. So they don't get complacent. You think this is not many cuts happening for me. I've noticed as well. It's very rare I can. I can get a cut to happen. I don't know if you just got to throw a load of power shots, but that's not really my style. I don't like just fucking launching power shots at people. I throw a couple in now and again, maybe to the body or a right straight to the head, but like I tend to throw just regular shots. And is that why I'm not cutting them? I don't know. Very, very, very rarely get cuts to happen in this game. And the. You know, they've had a few changes to the cuts over time by increasing the frequency of them, but... Oh, nice right straight, straight to the so body. When you remember such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you even let one up, that creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Nice head movement there by Ben. Oh. Counter left hook, but we fire a left hook back. Oh, left up a cut stunned him a little bit. Oh, hurt him. Oh, right straight to the body and the left hook up top. Oh, he's throwing back though as, as he recovered. Oh, that was a nice three punch combo there. The left, uh, the jab, the left hook, and the right straight off him. Oh, go for that body while he had no stamina. But now I've got no fucking stamina. 
See what I mean about the... Um, I think I mentioned it in the last video with Ali. It's like the stamina sort of punishment not being there. It's like, you know, Ben had no stamina there. And I hit him with a right straight to the body. And I know I had no stamina as I threw it. But Ben had no stamina and he took a body shot. And, you know, at least in like something like UFC, the UFC games, if you've got no stamina and you take a body shot, you're probably going to get a health event off it. It just, it doesn't seem like there's much incentive in this game to go for the body. Like in terms of, uh, when it comes to fatigue and opponents. There's just not, it just seems like you might as well just go for the head, you know. You know, if I, uh, when I'm playing games like this, if I see that my opponent is, is low on stamina or they've just missed and it's caused them to lose a load of stamina, I love to go to the body and, and try and get, you know, get some big damage in there, but it's just kind of... Those systems are not in place yet and for the it just doesn't feel like they're in place with this game at the moment when it comes to like punishing the body like that. This is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit. See, like there, he's got no... Oh, he managed to evade it. I went in for the right straight so to the body close, there, but so close. How can you separate he evaded it. It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. He missed with that jab. Oh, there's that combination again. That right uppercut, left hook, and the right straight. I like that one. Oh, nice counters from Ben. Gotta be careful trying to get him out of there like that. Another missed punch. Beautiful counter shot. Very close round with 10. And a big shot rattles his cage. Connor Ben right now. Will he go down? Oh, I heard that never by Sully. God, he's really got to like try and that was almost a push through that block. You know, it's the block is a little bit. Um, when you've got them hit like that, like you've got to throw so many punches just to get their block meter down. Like you, you've, you actually have to break through their block to land the shot. Like they just block too much. I mean, you can chip away at it even quicker if you start throwing power shots, but that just means that you're not throwing, like, fast little combinations to get the knockdown. You've got to throw these, like, big wind-up power shots, and that's that's not what I like to do. See, look, I'm throwing normal shots here. Oh, there we go. This, this block was already at halfway there, just as I, as I rocked him. Back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Oh, he still hit. But he was for a and second there. about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab. It can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Not sure why my block went down there. Did you see that? Like I was in the middle of fucking throwing punches and, and my block went down. Get through the round, regroup, right, freshen up, boom. Different tactics. And he fails to score with that left hook. 
You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Wouldn't go that far, Todd. Oh, how a straight stuns him. has no idea where he is right now. Nice counter. Oh, I went for the power up, of course, but I find that very rarely lands. They just easily sidestep that. Oh, hard straight to the body, kind of stopped him in his tracks there, and the left up landed as well. That'll be a 10 8 round for sure with the knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. And here comes the 10th round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down. Don't let him bully you, Leon. Keep letting the Don't let him bully you, son. Because you know, you want to shake your leg. And that's here, away from getting stopped. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last oh. round. See, like things like that, you know, going to the body there where he had no stamina left. They were like power shots as well then. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a terror. That's what they do in the gym every single day. And Ben just got rocked. He just got rocked big time. He's seeing stars, but can he stay on his... And a big oh. shot rattles his cage. Connor oh, and a power left up right straight. That get, that'll get through the fucking block. Oh, the left hook went around the back of his head, but the fucking right straight didn't. Well, you're down there, Connor. Fuck off. Oh, it's a brutal right straight. One more look at that. I think that, that might be it. Oh, fucking hell. That's it. It's over. Not many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. If you're enjoying these videos, drop us a like on the video. I really appreciate it. Helps with the algorithm. Let's try and get the, the search, YouTube search, getting my videos to the top when it comes to Undisputed and just videos in general. Yeah, drop a like. I really appreciate it. Sub if you want to sub. And stay tuned to the channel for the career mode when it eventually releases but for now I'm going to leave it there thanks very much for watching everyone take care and I'll see you in the next one